legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Today's video, we're going to show you an exciting way to make hundreds of thousands of gold coins by actually being prepared for the next cultivation dungeon. Each cultivation dungeon will have a hidden boss. And today's video, we're gonna be doing the new Ascended 69 Void Magic Runes. In the Magic Runes, the hidden boss is the really beautiful Winged Moth. Now this Winged Moth, when you defeat her, you will be able to get a random yellow gear. Sometimes it is for your class, sometimes it is for another class. About 50% chance it will be for your class. And these yellow gear will be very beneficial for you in, uh, if you want to do some soul fusion. For soul fusing, yellow gears will be very, very useful. Or you can just sell it if you're able to sell it. Uh, you will make hundreds of thousands of gold coins, especially if you're one of the first people who get it uh, as the game progresses once people have geared up on these yellow gears What will happen is uh, no one will need these yellow gears anymore Most likely those yellow gears will be disassembled and you can have a chance of getting some reincarnation scrolls Which is also pretty good good coins so the trick is is to actually stock up on illusion shards between levels right before the next cultivation uh, dungeons uh, release once uh, right before the next cultivation dungeons release the prices of illusion shards will be near near free I mean I've seen illusion shards for about 11k so at about 11k or 12k or whatever it's, it's a good deal you just buy seven of these because that's what the Ascended 69, Ascended 69 Cultivation Dungeon. Oh, Ascended 2. Ascended 2 69 is Void Magic Ruins. And uh, in the first boss, the key deal for the first boss, you got to go to see that blue circle that I saw, that you saw, I mean, pick up. You have to go pick that up. It will let you take more damage. However, it prevents the boss from exploding those balls. And those that ball will actually cause huge damage on your team all right so the leader of the dungeon can open up the hidden boss and it costs seven illusion shards for each person so the trick is to be sure to pick up go to the uh, auction go to the stall I mean and pick up as many illusion shards before the next cultivation dungeon and once you do that for if they are 11k it will cost you about 77k in order to enter this one time and whatever you get is going to be worth more than 77k it's definitely like the items right now they're worth probably about five to 500 to 700k just depending on how uh, needed it is sometimes classes which are classes which can perform without orange gear will actually those uh, the yellow gears for those classes are actually have a have a very nice premium sometimes people uh, you can sell them for a decent amount to people who want to get level 55 soul fusing which is what you can do with uh, with yellow gear of ascended to 69 all right so this is the boss this is the winged moth she is very beautiful she spawns some baby moss around her that you will also have to defeat Oh yeah, notice uh, today we're not, we don't actually have a tank. I'm tanking, so a Blade Master can tank if a Blade Master has a Goblin, and if the Blade Master does more damage than the rest of the team. All right, so there we go. We just defeated the the Winged Moth, and I got a Hurricane Ring, which is a Blade Master Ring. I feel like about 50% chance it will be your class. And uh, you'll be able to use it. I mean, a lot of times you'll be able to use the yellow piece of gear. It won't be as strong as an orange piece of gear, but it'd be very, be very close. And if you use yellow pieces of gear, you're you're able to soul fuse without using the legendary mats. You can just use regular, you can just regular uh, universal units. 
should definitely stock up on those illusion shards. Now, it does take seven illusion shards uh, per member. I think it's a little cheaper if if one person formed like the illusion combined illusion shards and only the leader paid. However, that does not happen. No one no one does that. Uh, no leader is going to pay for for the entire team. That that very seldomly happens. So the last boss is a little bit harder. It's uh, you have a lot of uh, a lot of small monsters you have to kill. Normally, you would grab all of the monsters together. However, since I actually have to do the most damage on every single monster, I'm, I'm going to lose aggro if I grabbed all, all of the monsters. Since uh, very possibly someone will do more damage on one particular mob and I'll lose aggro. So another thing you might want to do is uh, go ahead and save up some shards in case there are double cultivation days. Sometimes there are events where it gives you double drops for cultivation. So you can, uh, you definitely want to take uh, care and use extra runs, uh, use extra runs if you have cultivation tickets to do extra runs and do this hidden boss. If you do hidden boss on days with, uh, with double drops, what you will do is you will get two yellows. So that's, that's really nice. Right now it's not double drops. Also, the hidden boss, uh, the hidden boss does not spawn in every run. So sometimes, sometimes for a set of 269, you may have to run multiple times. You have to defeat the first boss several times. You, it might take you five times before that hidden boss is actually spawned. Also remember, be sure not to do the hidden boss more than two times a day. Okay, so you can do the hidden boss, all right, then the second time you use a cultivation ticket and you pay your shards that works if you do it if you pay if you do a cultivation uh, ticket and then do it again with the hidden boss even if you pay the seven shards you're not gonna get any yellows you can only do the cultivation dungeon hidden boss twice a day so even on even if you spend those shards and you do it the third time the third time you do a hidden boss in 20 in in the same day you will not get yellow drops so be sure to remember that and never ever do a hidden boss more than two times a day even on double drop days on the third time you're not gonna get anything oh the most most important mechanic for the last boss of magic ruins is to make sure when you get a blue circle um, be sure to stay away from other people with blue circles if they have if you have a red circle don't overlap on someone with a red circle however you have a blue circle you want to get close to someone with a red circle all right so that's it so remember those things do your hidden bosses and get rich if you like this video please feel free to like subscribe smash that notification bell and comment below to be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on May 15 2021